Welcome to Beer Start from Beer Start Brew House. This is my series on legendary beers where I compare a legendary beer to a modern version. So yeah, this is Hedy Tower from The Alchemist uh, compared to uh, Fuzzy Greens from Bad Seed. So today I'm finally tasting Hedy Tower from The Alchemist. It's pretty hard to get hold of in Denmark. Uh, I got this from uh, the Netherlands. Um, and of course, it's not super fresh when it reaches Europe, um, but it, it is pretty fresh. It's a, a little a little over a month old. And then I got uh, Bad Seed Brewing's uh, Fuzzy Greens, which is also just about a month old. So uh, in terms of comparison, it's pretty fair, I guess. These are both... Um, Hazy IPA 21C, if you look at the BJCP uh, style guide. So the overall impression of American IPA with intense fruit flavors and aromas, soft body, smooth mouthfeel, often opaque with a substantial haze, less perceived bitterness than traditional IPAs, but always massively hop forward. Um, colors ranging from straw, very light amber, um, Aromas, intense hop aromas, stone fruit, tropical fruit, citrus, or other fruity qualities. Flavor, high to very high fruity hop flavor. Low to medium malt flavor. Um, low to medium high perceived bitterness. Yeah, mouthfeel is medium to medium full bodied. Medium carbonation, smooth, no harshness. Um, yeah, and that's pretty much it for the description from the style guides. So as you can see, they are pretty different. The reason why this is a legendary beer is, well, it's the first hazy IPA. This beer started all the hazy IPA, New England, deeper wave that we see uh, all over the craft beer scene right now, still lasting about 10 years. This one started it all. This one, it's kind of, uh, they haven't thought about this beer when they brewed the Fuzzy Green, but this beer is the father of all hazies. So uh, they are kind of related, but they aren't related. So a hazy, it has to be hazy. And if you look at this one, well, lights can get through. Um, compared to this one, it's totally haze. So that's where it's already a big difference. This one says uh, drink from the can. And uh, if they brewed this today, it wouldn't say drink from the can because uh, today is no problem with the haze. When they started brewing this, haze was a bad thing. So they actually put on the can that you have to drink it from the can. And that's not a very good thing to do because uh, you won't get all the aromas. And when we're talking about aromas, um, this is a true American IPA, kind of old school, I would say, compared to the to the hub aroma so from old school West Coast IPAs. I get a lot of uh, pine. I get a lot of citrus. There's also some stone fruit in there. Some tropical. Uh, fruits, uh, a, maybe a little bit of mango or pineapple or something like that. I would. This is a aroma I would expect from an old school uh, West Coast IPA, actually. Where as the fuzzy greens. A disclaimer here: fuzzy greens is uh, inspired from. American IPAs, uh, but it's actually made with New Zealand hops. Um, but still, it's a modern version of this one. And this one has much more stone fruit, pineapple, a little bit of citrus, uh, gooseberry or something like that, guava, passion fruit, definitely passion fruit. Um, so it's just, it's, it's a fruit bump, it's a fruit salad. 
really delicious. Um, kind of a, I know you can't really smell sweet aromas, but it has a feel of, of sweetness to it. Probably it's just an association uh, with the fruits that uh, that I get, but it's it's a pungent tropical aroma. Whereas this one is a uh, it's a tiny bit grassy, piney, citrusy, with a hint of tropical fruits as well. So kind of the kind of the not the opposite, but totally different aromas. As you can see, the headed chopper is, uh, is more orange, where the fuzzy green is much more um, yellow. They probably used some Munich malt. I don't think they used crystal malts. Uh, maybe they did in the beginning, but I don't think they do it anymore. So it's probably some Munich malts or something like that to make it a little bit darker. Um, they are both, they are both hazy, and uh, yeah, beautiful beers, both of them. The foam, the head retention is better on Heady Topper. Maybe it's got the name from that because it's really a stable foam. Um, whereas the fuzzy greens, it uh, kind of dies out a little faster. Yeah, so flavor-wise, yeah, I can see why it's a legendary beer, uh, why it catch, why it caught on, and then and became a, a really hype beer. Um, it's vibrant, but not but not not the tropical vibrant flavors. It's uh, it's piney, citrus. It's uh, I get the malts also. Some the, some kind of bready note. It's bitter. Um, it's medium has a medium body. Uh, it's not sweet because the bitterness is pretty high in this beer, much higher than uh, New England style today. Um, and then it just has these grassy, dank, piney citrus with a hint of stone fruit. Yeah, but it's fresh, it's vibrant, it's alive. It's a beautiful beer, it still holds up today. 100%. The Fuzzy Greens um, is uh, New Zealand hops, so I'm guessing more tropical. It's more juicy, it's way more tropical. It has uh, mango, pineapple, maybe some orange, gooseberries, passion fruit. It's really delicious. It's not that bitter, but it's not overly sweet. Um, the sweet New England IPAs, I can't drink a full can of them. Uh, three sips and then I'm full. This one is still, it's still fresh. It's still, it's still crushable. Mm. It's much more soft, it's much more juicy, much more tropical. Um, it's a great, great beer. It's two different beers. If I had to rate them both, uh, I would give them four and a half uh, on untapped. Four and a half out of five. Uh, it's both beautiful beers. Yeah, the Hitty Chopper is just more bitter, a little bit more bready, and then all the pine and all, all that. So it's just a different beer. Both of, the, both of them are 8%. Um, and I don't think Hitty Chopper is 
brewed with oats. I could be wrong. I don't know actually. Um, but it doesn't feel like it's oaty. I can't taste the oats in here, but I know for a fact there are oats in it and you can also see it. I don't have a favorite here. Both of them are great. So, uh, yeah. If you can find Hitty Chopper, it's really exciting. Exciting for me anyway to taste it because it's a great beer and it's just a legendary beer. If you can get a hold of this one, it's also a good beer. But there are a lot of great hazies out there right now. Um, there has been for quite a while. And it's pretty cool to taste uh, a more old school approach to a hazy. Um, and you can't get more old school than this one because it's the father of all hazies. So yeah, if you can find it, try it out. And uh, I guess that was that. Cheers.